We're going to learn how to evaluate an expression. Several things I want to point out first. What does it mean to evaluate? Evaluate means you're going to be switching letters with numbers. And in mathematics, when I say the word switch, it's actually substitution. And letters are actually variables. So that's how we refer to it in mathematics. So we're going to be switching letters with numbers, or in other words, we're going to be substituting variables with numbers. And then the other word is expression. What's an expression? An expression is a combination of numbers, letters, and operations. And the operations in mathematics, there's only four of them. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So that's what makes an expression. It's basically a combination of those things. And then when we say we're going to evaluate an expression, you're going to be switching the numbers with the letters, and you're going to use the order of operations to get an answer. So you will come up to one single answer once you evaluate an expression. So let's look at an example here. Here it says evaluate the expression negative c plus 7x when c equals 3 and x equals negative 2. So I'm going to evaluate that expression. So you write out your problem. And we said evaluate means you're going to switch letters with numbers. So I'm going to copy everything else the same except wherever I see a letter I'm going to replace it according to what was given. So here it says I can switch the c with the 3 and I can switch x with negative 2. So I can interchange these. So let's switch them out. So I put a negative. The value for C is 3 plus 7. And I can see here, if I don't see an addition sign, a subtraction sign, or a division sign, then it automatically implies multiplication. So this is saying 7 times X. X is negative 2. And now we just follow the order of operations to simplify. So since the only operations I have are addition and multiplication, I'm going to do multiplication first. So I get negative 3 plus, and then if I multiply these two together, 7 times negative 2, I get negative 14. So negative 3 plus negative 14 gives me negative 17. So that will be my final answer. So we started with an expression. We evaluated it when C is 3 and X is negative 2. And when, once you simplify it, you're going to get a single answer. And that's how you evaluate an expression.